Guten Abend, liebe Freundinnen und Freunde in Deutschland. Herzliche Grüße vom Chateau de Colombe. Diesen Abend berichten wir vom einjährigen Jubiläum hier im Schloss, die Schlossherren, und vom Besuch von Brad und Denise. Bonjour à tous, c'est une autre épisode de Jeunesse du Château. Ici à Colombe, en saint Baudel, et c'est notre anniversaire. Ah, and now to our English-speaking viewers from around the world, welcome to another episode of Journey to the Chateau. And this uh, episode is about our uh, anniversary that we celebrated over the weekend. We are one year here at Chateau de Colombe. It's right. Yes, <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> And uh, uh, for us, we were lucky enough to also have a visit from uh, Denise and Brett, who are in the area looking for a chateau. And so they stayed here over the weekend and they helped us celebrate our anniversary. advantage of having a young, able and energetic people here is <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that they, um, Brad and Denise volunteered and said, look, if you need anything done, let us know. So uh, Denise actually set the table beautifully and Brad said, okay, what can I do? And then he just looked around and said, I think I'm going to mow, which was um, really, really nice because guess what? Our tractor is still not back, so we can't mow. <laughs> In any case, so they uh, they helped a lot. It was so much fun. It was just so so nice to have them. They're such lovely, lovely people. So we were very lucky to have them. Yes. So Denise oh, did all of this out here with Brad. Oh. Oh, just a little. Yeah. <laughs> and everything in the dining room. So table settings. So thank you so much that you did this for our anniversary. Thank you, yeah. thank you Denise. Happy anniversary. <laughs> thank you. And I have to point out that Brad went with the lawnmower. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. It's, it's a beautiful lawnmower. <laughs> <laughs> and it didn't be. Yeah. So happy anniversary. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Yes. Yes. I mean, please let's drink. Let's drink. Not you drink. I'm drinking. Maybe. 
AI yes. with my glass. Yeah, to all of you, yeah. I would Cheers. absolutely love to. Well, thank you, Stuart, for doing yes. this. Thanks. Thank Jane and Tony for Thank everything you. mother help you yes. have done. Yes. Yes. You were yes. wonderful your family. Yes. And unfortunately you can't get rid of family. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Love you. And this hopefully will be the first of many, many, many. many yes. 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 Viva la chatte. So this is a very, very traditional German dish. It's Spargel Suppe. So it's the the uh, skins of the asparagus. So first you cook the asparagus in the water, which flavors it. And then you take all the, the cuttings because you have to cut the skin off. It's very tough because it's a root. So then we're going to, I am now straining it. And I would have, you normally use another strainer, but I already have it in use. <laughs> so, very nice. And for the second dish, which is a gratin of uh, white asparagus wrapped in prosciutto, uh, that is already ready to go in the oven. Um, but, so this is now, uh, well, it looks kind of like a, hmm, how would you describe that, Stuart? It looks like a very, not particularly clear uh, broth, which it is, it's right. a vegetable broth. Yeah. It has uh, a little bit of nutmeg in it, salt. And now for this specific soup, you, one should, I should say, use white pepper. So there are no dark spots in the soup. And it's very nice and I will thicken it up and that will be our starter for tonight. That will start it, set it all off. It's the uh, soup d'asperge. <laughs> and this, this, I have to say this, um, Angela and, and Denise knows that this is a quintessential German dish. Spargel soup. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Soup over asparagus. Yeah. If Germans go in bonkers over asparagus soup. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Spargel soup. Meanwhile, in the kitchen, someone has to work while the others enjoying their dinner. Who is enjoying dinner? And this is, by the way, the chef. <laughs> 
Uh, uh, Chef Ish. It was wonderful to have Brad and Denise here. Uh, such uh, wonderful friends and such lovely people. And we had more people celebrating with us. Uh, we did. We had our friends uh, Gary and Joe who came here. And of course, uh, Tony and Jane were here from Not Quite a Chateau DIY. Uh, it was fun because Gary uh, and Joe, or Jojo, um, they're from Australia as well. So mm. it, was, um, it was like an Australian invasion of the Chateau. <laughs> <laughs> it was lovely. It, we had so much fun, it was so much laughter, and uh, it's, it's always wonderful when, when you have a dinner party and, and everything just flows. Yeah. Um, it was fantastic. Thank you so much. Yeah, and it was also very exciting that uh, while they were here, they actually asked us to go with them to see a couple of the chateaux that they were actually considering. And uh, one of which we will actually show you here on our channel on Friday because it's not far away from here. That would be almost our next door neighbors. Yeah. I mean, or they are. There's, there's only well, there's only one chateau in between. <laughs> <laughs> right, only. <laughs> right. It's only four minutes away from here, and it is an 18th century gem. Yes. So on Monday this week, uh, it was a holiday yes. here in France. Yes. And it was also the annual donkey festival in Linier. La Fête de l'Anne. Mm and we went to check it out. Yes, it was great.
So many of you know that I, I talked about in the past uh, about getting adopting two two donkeys because um, when they reach the end of their useful life, they still might have 20, 25 years uh, to live. Mm -hmm. And so we would like to uh, at some point save two donkeys from the slaughterhouse and have them here at the, yeah. at the property in the back. As a sanctuary for yes. the donkeys, yeah. So, um, and we will, I don't know, um, we actually had quite a few few viewers who said if you if you want to do this pri privately contacting us, if you want to do this, set up something so we can donate specifically for the donkeys so that they can be saved. I thought it was just really touching. Yeah, it's great. Um, and the, the uh, black, uh, big black donkeys from Berry, that's what their name is. Mm -hmm. uh, they are really quite, quite large. They have a very high, high shoulder height mm -hmm. and uh, they have a square head and they're just such beautiful animals. And we were s just, um, had to peel us away, otherwise we would have just most probably bought two or three of them. And then how do you get them home? Walk them? Uh, I mean, <laughs> yeah. But now Angela wants to say something about this in German. Hmm. Yeah, these großen schwarzen Esel aus dem Barri sind sehr schön. Sie haben sehr weiches, glänzendes Fell und vor allen Dingen haben sie wunderschöne Augen, fast wie ein Lidstrich. Sie haben eine schöne Form und nach außen ist das in Schwarz geschwungen, wie wenn es mit Kajal gezeichnet wäre. Und sie waren so verschieden im Fell, glatt, verschiedene Farben, mit Locken, ohne Locken. Sie sahen besonders hübsch aus und sie sind eine sehr alte Rasse, die hier fast vor dem Aussterben bewahrt wurde. So there. Okay, <laughs> now you know. <laughs> So uh, we will have a regular episode again on Friday this week, and we will be showing the uh, the tour of the chateau that's nearby that we went with Brett and Denise, and some other things, and some other things. Yes, I, and I will. I know I, I had said last time that we were going to show the update on our potager, and we actually will show the update on the potager this Friday. Will we though? <laughs> we will. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> If you like this episode, please uh, like and subscribe. It helps us tremendously. Uh, recommend us to your friends and family. That is it's so essential to us. Um, if you want to support the journey, you can join us on Patreon or buy me a coffee. Uh, however, as I always say, you know, the, the most important thing is leave us a comment. We love to, to hear and read your comments. That is We've done this from the beginning, and we are very appreciative. Appreciative? <laughs> what heck? But you got it. <laughs> we really appreciate yes. all your input, your support, and your help. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on Friday. Auf Wiedersehen. A bientôt. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, please use the like feature to let us know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our Journey to the Chateau YouTube channel if you would like to see more. Once you've subscribed, you can tap the notification bell in order to ring it, which will allow you to receive all notifications from our channel. Thank you.